Welcome back to my channel Lumsy Sews. In today's sewing tutorial, I will show you how I made this bustier dress with A-line skirt. In my previous video, I made the tutorial, the pattern drafting tutorial. In today's tutorial, we are going to be sewing this dress. If this is what you like to learn, make sure not to skip any part of this video because I'll be showing you how to sew inseam finishing because this dress was made with inseam finishing if you haven't watched the pattern drafting tutorial i'll be dropping it in the description section or up above anywhere just click on the link and make sure to watch to see how i made it so you can see how neat the finishing is i'm going to show you how to make that I use two years of tafita sample tafita fabric. You can use Mikado fabric. You can use crepe, dry crepe. You can also use um, African fabric anyway. Then you will need lining. I'm using cotton lining for this. I also use two years of fabric. And then you're going to be needing interfacing. I have hair stay here. That's what we call it in Nigeria. I don't know what you call it elsewhere. And then I'm going to be using paper gum stay, another type of interfacing. It's a very, it looks like paper. This is optional. If you don't want it, you can skip this. So like I told you, I've drafted this pattern in my previous video. I'm going to drop the link. So we haven't added the weld pockets. We are going to be adding weld pockets. So I'll just show you that now so from here after closing my dart my the skirt part of the dart as you can already see i'll come down four inches make it four inches four inches is better mark that here and you're going to mark two and a half inches on both sides so i'll go ahead and square this line out on this line that i've squared out i'm going to measure two and a half inches on both sides this is where you're going to make the weld pocket. Next, I'm going to use this pattern to cut out on the fabric. So first, I'm cutting the upper side of the bustier. I have my lining fabric and my main fabric. And I have interfaced them, as you can see, with the hair stay. So you can decide to use paper gum stay on the lining piece. So I'll place the bustier, the front part of the bustier top here like so. And I'm going to leave some allowance here and cut it out. I didn't add any sewing allowance when I was making the pattern drafting. So I'm going to be adding half inch below. All around I'm adding half inch. I'm just adding only one inch on the side seam for the sewing allowance. This is it after cutting it out, one inch here and half inch all around. For the skirt part, I've added half inch up here and then one inch size seam. For the lining piece, I reduced half inch and to the main fabric, I added two inches. For the dart, I added quarter of an inch for the dart intake. That way it will be easier for us to sew the dart. I've also cut out the back as you can see the back doesn't have any joining it's a one piece and I have interfaced it with the lining with paper gum stay and for the main fabric look at the way I have added interfacing as you can see and for the welt pocket I have interfaced this I'm going to be making a false welt pocket so I have four pieces here two for each side to sew this, I'm going to be starting with the back. So I'll go ahead and add zipper to this and turn the lower part. And for the front part of the bustier, I'm going to be sewing this right side facing together. So you go to your machine and you're going to place the dart like this. Sew it to this place, lift your needle and finish the sewing. The same thing on the other side. I'll do this 
and also go ahead and do it to the lining piece this is it after joining it next thing i'm going to do is to place this right side facing together and sew the neckline after sewing it straight like this you're going to turn it over like this and under stitch it so for the skirt part of the for the front part of the skirt i'm going to be adding weld pocket remember i told you we're using a false weld pocket so here i'm going to this weld pocket is actually very very big make your weld pocket to be like three inches in width three by five so i'm going to go to my machine now stitch this like this also do the same thing to the other side i'm going to stitch it like this and turn it over and top stitch it and then to join the lining for the skirt part i'm going to bring the lining align this properly and sew it and i'm going to also turn it over and under stitch it so the upper part of the bustier and the skirt part of the bustier is ready next we're going to do is to go ahead and join them on the waistline making it a one piece so you're going to get main fabric to main fabric lining to lining so place it main fabric to main fabric you sew it separately and then lining to lining separately so i'll do that and show you the next thing this is it after joining the front and also for the back i've gone ahead and done the same thing i did to the front the only thing is that i have added zipper to this so next thing we're going to do is to couple this you're going to place this make sure you iron this before the stage so you're going to place this like this you can either align it to the waistline or to the hemline just align it properly and you're going to sew the lining the main fabric like this and also sew the lining piece so just keep turning them around to the, till you get to the armhole and sew it you do the same thing on the other side and you're going to leave opening for you to bring it out so this is the opening i have left for me to bring this out you go ahead and bring out the whole fabric from there i hope you understand but by the time you're sewing this you will be you will understand it very very easy so make sure whenever you're making inseam finishing at every stage you make sure you iron your dress properly it will help it to relax better so this is it after sewing it as you can see i'll make sure to iron this properly so look at this place where i brought it out from that place that i brought it out from i'll go ahead to sew it so you go and pick this and sew it with your machine or your hand sewing so give this a good press and today we have come to the end of today's tutorial i'll see you guys in my next video